Quill's muscles ached and her eyes grew heavy. She decided it best to set up camp and rest before journeying on to the castle. Smart. Hey, kid. Good. You're alive. The starling spoke as it circled the campfire. Quill gasped in shock as the starling unveiled monstrous wings and curled horns. It descended, talons gleaming. Oh dear, I didn't mean to scare you. I'm not scared, Quill replied. I just didn't know starlings were feathered. This starving thing's gotta go, kid. The name's Adurin. Oh wow. How long have I been in this library for? <laughs> no, we aren't feathered. Only me. I'm working on it. Let's just say choosing the wrong friends comes with the price. But you seem like a good friend to have. Thanks. I think. Quill readied her meal and paused to take in the strange winged creature who now called her friend. As a field of stars bloomed over the sky, their campfire conversations deepened. He's all I have. If I lose him, I don't know what I'll do, confided Quill. Adurin looked down at his wings. If I help you find him, can you help me? <sighs> if we can. We will, Starling. I mean, Adurin. Although Quill was far from the safety and comfort of her nook in the cottage, her exhaustion led her into a deep sleep. Hey, Ghostface. A lot of folks have been waiting for a reader like you to return. Hmm. I know I have. I'm going to scout the castle up ahead. Keep her safe, okay? For both our sakes. I mean, there's not much I can do, I'm just reading. And I can only interact with what I can. But I'll do my best. Right under the guardian, eh? Cool. Wake up. It's time to go. Yeah, good night's nice rest. Time to go. Durin was nowhere to be found. But looming high on a distant bluff was the castle. A stark reminder of what mattered most. Quill drew a deep breath and readied herself for the journey ahead. It's a big journey. So these glass fragments uh, must be part of like some kind of um, stained glass, right? Which tells a tale. Upon their return, it was evident the toad had not warmed their company. Not as long as it doesn't eat me, I'm good. You really are asking for it. When they fail this second test, Dibs on the runt for dinner. He muttered to no one in particular. Yep, he's now the green one. I've heard through my little buds that you've made great strides on your journey. The voice rang from the wood. But the true test of twofold requires mastery from you both. Yeah, I know, little one. Alright. Bring it here. Prizes we will get now. Ooh, saber! The arcane are enraged by your bond. The stronger it becomes, the harder you'll be to defeat. Reader, through this sword, Quill can channel your energy. Oh, okay. Be steadfast with this one, reader. Advise the voice. Things will get difficult. 
I'm sure but they you mustn't close the book on your hero. High five. High five. That's so cool, it does a little dance. Quill felt more assured, more ready for the dangers of the castle. The toad, however, was not yet impressed. Still just a rodent in champion's clothes, if you ask me. Doubt they'll find the last portal back here. Man, so cynical. Finally made it. She'd seen this view before, in a drawing from her uncle's library. Being here made her heart flutter, and then sink. If the story of her family had been different, this would have been her home. Oh! I did not expect it to shoot that fast. <laughs> No way, that thing's so fast. A Durin was back. Hey kid, you took long enough. I found your uncle, but the master sentry's been activated. I'm trying to sort it out. This way. Oh. That thing's huge. My uncle? Is he okay? He's alive for now. We must act quickly. As long as that master sentry is watching, the path to the castle is a dead end. All right, what good things do we have? Ooh. Looks like we got a Celsa key of some sort. So we got one of the keys. Okay. Now we just need the next one. Let's do it. Oh, Mr. Toad. Thinking I can't be top shit. Look Assistant, at me now. little furball. I'll give her that. Remarked the toad. Our most sacred test. If you insist. But oh. you can't hide this from Vader. Oh, let's go. It's no hiding. It's only winning. Vader may never speak to me again. The voice seemed pained. But if you succeed, she'll have to accept certain truths about the glass she has long denied. It's quite the ceremonial area. Look at the amount of gears it has. High five. High five. High five. Yeah. <laughs> Love this little mouse. Quill. It was an honor to fight beside your uncle. And now an even greater one to see you as my successor. You fought beside my uncle? Are... Are you... What the entrance? Well, felt like she was dreaming. Before her was the great sprite champion. Her uncle spoke of his legend often. Wait! Don't go! Quill shouted into the ether. It's time for you to show us the way. The voice folded back into the leaves. Now hurry! August needs you! He was gone. Quill was deeply honored. She'd earned the blessing of her hero. And perhaps also the Toad's respect. I'm... 
Sorry, I considered you for supper. He offered. Mm -hmm. You best be on your way. Vader won't be pleased about any of this. Will wondered. What would happen if she crossed Vader's path? And would she ever see the Sprite Champion again? Is there something good? Yes, got the key. This place looks like it's seen better days. Oh, okay. Does it depower the the giant sentry? Exactly what it does. Yes, so close to the. You're all clear, kid. A Durin affirmed. It should be a straight shot to the castle now. Come on. I'm going, but I see a scroll. Thank goodness I looked around. Is that? I've made a terrible mistake. What is this place? What's that smell? Durin? Smell of death, that's what it is. Jesus, it's like. Sorry, Quill. I really am. What do you mean, so sorry? 